Hi there, welcome to BA Consulting Pro. Imagine you are working on a Microsoft Power BI dashboard and report and you want to deploy it from development to test or test to production environment. Then how can you do that? Well, the answer is deployment pipelines. Deployment pipelines in Microsoft Power BI helps you to continuously integrate and deploy your content from one workspace to another. Or you can also say from one environment to another environment. However, there are certain limitations when it comes to the deployment pipelines. One of the limitations is that it's not available for pro users. Secondly, you cannot see what is the difference between your reports and dashboards when you are deploying from one environment to another environment. Well, Microsoft has introduced one latest feature in deployment pipelines and we are going to talk about that in this video. So if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. Now without wasting any more time, Let's head over to my desktop and I'm going to let you know what is that feature I'm talking about. My name is Ajay Kumar and I create contents on Microsoft Power BI and Microsoft Azure. So if you would like to know more, you know what to do. Subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest videos and updates. Now let's first have a look at the Microsoft blog where this feature has been announced on 10th of April. Then we will have a demo to test this feature. I have this sample report, which is World Life Expectancy Report. In this report, you can see that there are the different visualization I'm using, there are certain KPIs, and what I'm gonna do, I'm going to make some of the changes in this report, then I'll publish it on my Power BI services where I have created certain environments, and then we will use the deployment pipelines to deploy it from one workspace to another. Over here, I'm on my Power BI portal, if I'll go into my development workspace, there's already this report, which I just showed you. And this report is World Life Expectancy Report. Right now, it's the same report as you just saw on my Power BI Desktop file. There's no change. Here, I have also created one deployment pipeline, which is demo. So let's click on this. And here you can see that my development, test and production environments are in sync. There's no difference in between them. You can also click on this show more and then you can find that everything is in sync. There's no difference between these two reports. Now let's go to the Microsoft blog where they have published this new feature known as change review. Over here, you can see that on 10th of April, 2023, Microsoft has announced this new feature in deployment pipelines where you can review your code changes. So over here, you would see this button, which is saying change review. And once you click on that, you will find a window like this where you can review your code change. This will help you to continuously deploy and integrate your Power BI solutions into the production environment. Now, let's go back to my Power BI desktop where I'm gonna make some changes and we will see whether this option is gonna appear for us or not. According to this Microsoft blog, change review is already available today. That means 10th of April, 2023. Now we are gonna test it out whether it is actually available or not. Here, I'm on my Power BI desktop once again. Over here, I'm just going to change one visualization and one of the KPI. Now, I'll go to my Home tab and here I can publish this into my development environment. Now, we will go back to my Power BI service portal again and we will refresh the page. So here I'm again on my Power BI service portal. You would see that, okay, it's in sync, but this won't reflect you unless you would refresh this page. So let me refresh this browser page. Now you can see that it's comparing the different environments or the workspaces and over here, it's saying that it is not in sync. That means my development environment or the development workspace is not in sync with my test workspace or test environment. So if you would like to compare, you can click on this compare button over here. And here you can see that my data set is different as well as my report is different. However, please note that I'm not getting this review change option over here. Here you can see that it's saying change review is already available over here. On my Power BI service portal, it's still not available. So I cannot see the change review or the code review over here. I cannot see exactly what change has been made, but I believe Microsoft is gonna provide it soon. They always roll out it in different phases for different countries. Currently I'm working from Netherlands, so maybe it's gonna come after a week or so. It already happened when they released certain features in the past. 
so this is gonna be here please trust me guys this is gonna be very helpful so if you worked on the deployment side of the microsoft power bi then definitely you can take advantages of this feature deployment enhancement is available that means whenever you are going to create your pipelines it's going to ask you this pop-up deployment from development to test then continue deployment in case one or more item fail so this is very important so what was happening previously this option was not available that means either it's going to completely pass or completely fail but now we can continue our deployment even when an item or two item get sale or maybe certain fail certain pass so we can continue with the items that are not getting failed so let's click on this deploy to test and over here you can see that continue deployment in case one or more item fail if you would like to learn more just click on this and you can see that but this option is really helpful if a certain item is getting failed but still we can continue our deployment process for other reports or the other items over there so this was it about the new change that has been implemented in deployment pipelines in microsoft power bi if you would like to know more, please do let me know in the comment section.